winter in Michigan and the roads can be treacherous. And there's lots of semis and commercial vehicles were on these roads. It can be a little bit scary. So what does the law have to say about these commercial vehicles driving? Well, we're going to go to the expert. We've got Tom Sinus with us from the Sinus Dreamus Law Firm to talk about commercial vehicles. Tom, so tell us, um, let's talk speed limits, first of all, because sometimes those trucks go barreling by us and you're like, they're going a little bit too fast. What does the law have to say about that? Well, I think a lot of people maybe intuitively think the speed limit is the legal speed to drive, whether it's a semi truck or a car. And that's not actually correct. Of course, it's a limit, right? But the law says very simply as follows, an individual operating a vehicle on a highway shall operate the vehicle at a careful and prudent speed, not greater than nor less than is reasonable and proper having due regard for the traffic, surface, and width of the roadway, and any other conditions existing at that time. And it goes on to say that an individual cannot operate a vehicle at a speed greater that will allow them to stop within an assured clear distance ahead. So what does that mean? It means that you can't drive any faster than will allow you to safely stop and you can't drive any faster than what is reasonable for the conditions on the roadway, including traffic and including, of course, weather conditions. And that rule applies to all of us, not just semi trucks, but it most certainly applies to semi trucks as well. Absolutely. And, and another thing we all encounter with with heavy snowfall, you know, we get those big like sheets of snow that come piling off a truck into your windshield. You can't see for a couple of minutes. Talk to us about that. Are there any special laws regarding like the snow and ice coming off these vehicles? There are. And again, these rules apply to all motorists, which includes semi trucks. But as you aptly point out, these can be particularly treacherous when you're talking about the amount of snow and ice that can fall off of the trailer of a semi truck. It's just by simple math, much more dangerous. We do have a statute that says that a person, it says as follows, a person shall not deposit or cause to be deposited snow, ice, or slush, slush onto or across the roadway in a manner that obstructs the safety vision of another driver of a motor vehicle. So if you're driving down the road and a sheet of ice or snow comes off another car or a semi truck and that obstructs your vision, well, that is a violation of one of our sections of the, of the motor vehicle code, which means that everyone is required before they take their vehicles on the roadway to make sure that the snow and the ice is cleared off so that it will not fall onto the roadway and, and create a safety vision obstruction for another driver. Yeah, good advice. I know I have been guilty of not cleaning off my car. So perhaps I'll think twice next time before I leave. But let's talk federal law um, and semi trucks. Uh, what are the laws regarding bad weather and semis? This is really important because as we've talked about before, commercial motor vehicles are subject to a very specific set of federal regulations. Those regulations have been adopted too by the state of Michigan. And in those regulations is a very specific rule about driving in hazardous conditions. And this applies specifically to commercial motor vehicles. And it says that drivers of commercial motor vehicles must use extreme caution in the operation of those vehicles when they are in hazardous conditions. And the hazardous conditions include snow, ice, sleet, fog, mist, rain, dust, smoke, or anything really that could adversely affect visibility or traction of the vehicle. The regulation goes on to say that speed must be reduced when those conditions exist. And it actually then goes on to say this, if conditions become sufficiently dangerous, the operation of the commercial motor vehicle shall be discontinued and shall not be resumed until the commercial motor vehicle can be safely operated. So this is a really important rule when you think about what that says. It says that extreme caution must be used, there's no exceptions, and that when the conditions become sufficiently dangerous, there are circumstances where the commercial motor vehicle must cease to operate, I mean, must pull off the side of the road and park until it is safe to travel again. So. 
if someone is involved in a crash with a commercial motor vehicle in hazardous weather conditions, this is just an, an excellent example of how the rules here are different when it comes to commercial motor vehicles as opposed to traditional cars or motor vehicles. Yeah, but probably good advice for all of us to follow, um, to be careful Indeed. out there on the roads. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. So yeah, but if people want more information, they want to learn more about this. We all probably should. We all live in Michigan. Um, what, what should they do? Well, they can find some helpful information on our website. That's at www.sinusdramus.com. You can shoot us an email at info at sinusdramus.com or give us a call in West Michigan at 616-301-3333.